hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know i'm looking a little crazy right now but i've already began doing my makeup i'm going for this look right here it's going to be like a sunset um eyeshadow look and i'm going to be using a number of different palettes and i will be showing you everything and also everything will be down below in my description box so i'm doing a little something different this video will be mostly a voiceover at least that's my plan so i'm going ahead and get started um before i go i did already do my eyebrows and kind of prime my eye a little bit so all that information will be down below as well and yeah let's just get started okay right now i'm taking my sweet peach palette by Too faced and i'm going to be using the two colors at the bottom um that's puree and summer yum also this will be in my description box and excuse my little dirty palette but yeah <laughs> Okay, I'm starting directly underneath my brow bone, and what I'm using is the Summer Yum color, or is it Nectar? It's one of those colors. I'm not looking at the palette right now, but um, yeah, it's just very light. It's not going to pick up on camera because it's like a skin tone color, but I used it to kind of just set my base before I, uh, I start applying my more vibrant colors. Okay, now I'm doing the exact same thing underneath the other color, and this is the color Summer Yum. The last color was Puree, just came to my mind. <laughs> but um, yes, I'm doing the exact same thing. Um, these are not picking up, but I can see them obviously. So yeah, and I'm just gonna keep continuing that process. Now going on to my favorite palette, which is Nubian by Juvia's Place. I'm using this color here, and um, I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's similar to the color t-shirt that I have on. It's kind of like a peach color, but it's a little bit, um, probably a little bit more darker. And I'm just putting it right on top of those last two colors from the Too Faced palette. And I'm just going to keep just blending it out. It's also like another base color, but it does have um, a good amount of pigmentation to it, so you will see the color come through. Okay, moving right along into the Nubian 2 palette. I'm going to be using the color Morocco, and it's a very pretty burnt orange color. Um, I decided to go with that color just because it kept with the orange theme, and I just thought it was a really pretty color. And this palette just doesn't get a whole lot of love from me, so I decided to show it some today. And I'm just going to just pack that color right in. As you can see, I've been using the same brush because these colors are very similar, so there's really no need to change out the brush. Okay, going into the Jaclyn here Morphe palette, I'm going to be using this um, kind of a rust color. It's kind of a, on the burgundy side, and I'm using um, this shader brush right here. It's a little bit pointy, but it's more of like a fluffy pointy brush. And I'm going to be using it just to use in my outer corners to just give me more of a precise um, look. And that's going to kind of set the tone to make this look more of an ombre look. And I'm just using it and just blending it on out. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, back to the Nubian 2 palette. Um, to deepen that color up, I'm going in with the color Jezebel right there. And it's a deep burgundy color. I'm going to use it to pack right on top of it just to give my look a little bit more of a pop and to just bring it all together. <laughs> and as you can see, I have my little tape over there to the side because I want this to look very precise and I'm just doing a lot of different new things today. Now I'm going into the Jaclyn palette, Jaclyn hair palette again and this stuff was so unnecessary. I just use this burnt orange. Now why do I keep saying burnt orange? I use this mustard yellow color <laughs> and it was so unneeded because it didn't really do much of anything because I'm going to cut the crease. But um, moving right along into the Too Faced palette again. I'm using this color Nectar. That's the color that I was talking about earlier. I'm using it in my brow bone. Um, I like this color because it's not too bright and it's like a perfect gold color for my skin tone but still gives me enough pop for a uh, brow bone highlight. Now I'm using my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 and I'm using this angled brush to cut my crease. Um, yeah, <laughs> the length of me cutting my crease definitely won't be in this video, but yeah, I give you a little bit of the struggle I went through. <laughs> I messed up somewhere or another in here, but um, 
it's gonna all come together I really feel like the the way I cut my crease on my other eye was a little higher up than the one I did on this eye right there is where I messed up it but um yeah I tried to go back and correct it and it came along I guess okay and um, I'm still getting used to cutting my crease but it is much easier for me than it was at first I think I was just a little bit more intimidated by it and now I'm just like if I keep doing it I definitely will get better at it okay going to the Sasha Buttercup powder I'm using it to set my cut crease concealer right there because um, I feel like it just helps the next eyeshadow that I am going to use to adhere better to it and I'm using this little tiny brush because I've tried using a beauty blender before for this step and yeah it was just a complete mess and we don't want setting powder everywhere because I have lost a, quite a bit of this setting powder that went to waste just by opening it improperly and all type of other stuff <laughs> so I'm going into the color Nairobi I think I'm pronouncing it right Nairobi okay now using my elf setting spray I'm just going to use it to spray that brush that I'm about to use to apply that gold color right there on top of my lid and um, I did really like this color it was really pretty but I did feel like I needed a little more pop so I went into the um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I don't know where that clip is so <laughs> yeah those were the mist lashes that I was showing you and I'm just showing you that I'm using some lashes that I have already used before so I'm reusing them and at this point I was kind of realizing like yeah I probably should have just used the, used the new lashes but oh well <laughs> for the video's sake I just kept on with those now I'm using my um, fix plus to prime my skin a little bit I don't really use any primers because I moisturized my skin beforehand and before applying any products but I like to use that before I use my Fenty because I do feel like the Fenty can be a little drying I have combination skin so um, right now in the summer I, ha I do have oily skin but the Fenty is like very matte to me um, so I do use the Studio Fix Plus just to make my blending process a little better and I feel like it also, also keeps me matte all day long I don't have to really go in and blot <laughs> so um yeah right now that's just about how much i apply with my first coat and i do use two coats of this that's just showing you my brush that i'm about to use which i've already did my makeup earlier today and i redoing makeup which is why my brush looks dirty but <laughs> it's not dirty and germy because i did use it earlier today and it was clean then for all you germ police out there <laughs> but yeah um, I just love this oval shape brush it makes the blending process very easily that was one of my gifts from my gift swap if you all remember that and I've been using it ever since but yeah I'm just blending this all out um, I am in the color 370 I do feel as though that it can be a little dark to me because it kind of does oxidize a little bit but right now it's okay because I am going to highlight but if I'm not doing a highlighting concealer look then I definitely don't want to use this just alone by itself and this is me applying my second coat um I don't use a whole whole lot of this but I do feel as though the second coat gives me more of a polished look than just applying one coat of it the first coat does do well and does cover up anything but um yeah the second coat just makes me look flawless I feel like now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer and I did receive this from Influencer free and complimentary let me just put that out there <laughs> um, I never reviewed it and I was supposed to review it which is probably why I haven't got a box since but that's neither here nor there <laughs> but um, yes this concealer did amazingly well um, and the crazy thing is I have used it before but when I used it the last time I didn't feel this way about it or maybe I just forgot but I said for this video I wanted to use it and I'm just doing my little tribal um, <laughs> tribal looking lines on my face to set everything together pull everything all in and um, the last time I used I think it was because I used a different foundation I didn't like how it would deal with it but this time around I did like it and as you can see when I started blending it out it did blend out very well so yeah this is going to be probably one of my staple products 
Okay, right now I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder just to um, set all of my concealed areas in. And as I apply it, I like to kind of pat it into the skin and I don't let it bake for too long. Okay, now I'm using my Makeover Essentials Contour Kit. And I don't know if I ever told the story behind this, but I ordered like a lot of items off of Shop Miss A, which I definitely have to order some more stuff to do. The haul that I've been talking about, but I got it free because they sent me my order and like uh, two other orders or something. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm just gonna use it. And it's not a great contour palette. I will say that like the color range is not great at all that's the only color that I could even get away with using and it actually could be a little bit darker so just an FYI if you are of a darker skin tone than me then it definitely will not be worth the purchase whatsoever um, now I'm using just a brush from Wet n Wild I think and I'm just using it to swipe away any leftover setting powder and now onto the blush. I'm using this Tarte and it's in the color Parte. And it was a free gift from Sephora. So I'm sure you probably can purchase it from there in like a full size one. But I'll just be using this little free sample one. And I'm going to keep on until I finish it out and then actually buy me a good blush. So recommend me some good blushes for like my skin tone or just in general now I'm going back in and bringing some of those colors to my lower lash line I'm using those two burgundy colors and just kind of bringing the look all together now I'm just using this mega wear mascara um, I think that's covergirl I got it from Dollar Tree so it was literally a dollar and I literally got a dollar's worth of money <laughs> a dollar's worth of product for me <laughs> So I'm just using on my lower lash line. It's not going to do too much, but it did a little something. Okay, now I'm going back into my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm using this silvery, shimmery color. And um, I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. I thought it tied in well with my brow on highlight. Um, it's actually my first time using that color. I really don't use too many colors in this palette for it to be quite a bit of colors in it. So I'm going to try to get into more colors in it. But yeah, I'm using it as my inner corner highlight today. Okay, now the best part, time to glow, glow, glow. And I'm pointing at everything and laughing because <laughs> I literally use all four. I used to be like, I don't want to use every one of them. But yeah, I just kind of take my brush and swirl it around through them. But um, mostly for the forehead color, I do use the, I think it's golden bronze. Um, that's more of a subtly color because I don't want to be like glowing from every direction. But as you can see, it is very bright, bright. And um, on my cheekbones, I use all of them. And I did blend it highlight in just a little bit so I won't be out here glowing all day long. But I'm just setting my face right now with my Fix Plus. I love the Fix Plus and I hate that I'm running low on it because I'm like, oh, gosh, now I have to rebuy it. But I've been loving the Fix Plus and the um, All Nighter. So tell me which um, one that you all like the best because right now they are tied to me. I like the bottle of the Fix Plus and I think it just smells better. But I do think the All Nighter really locks me in better. So I'm kind of torn. Now I'm applying this Liquid Lipsticks by ColourPop. Um, it's a really pretty color and it is a burnt orange <laughs> word of the day. But um, yes, or words of the day. But I'm just using it and I don't really use any liners. I just really line close to my lip line. And yeah, it's going to bring the look all in together. I think it was a really nice addition. Okay, now I'm all finished with the look completely. I just did a little something to my hair. I threw a necklace on so I can look a little bit more put together. But yes, this is the finished look. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Also, leave below in the description some looks that you want me to do, like different eyeshadow looks, so I can know what kind of um, content to bring to my channel. So, thank you again for watching.